Hey YouTube viewers, before we get started on today's video, this is a quick brief moment of this video. This video will be in two separate parts for episode 3. So for right now, this is episode 3, part 1. Part 2 is going to be for floor 2, so be sure to enjoy the video. Yo my YouTube viewers, welcome back. It's your boy, your homeboy, your big guy pal. It's Sword Kirby X. Welcome back to another video. And welcome back to part one. This is episode three, part one of a guide to Sword Boost 2. And this is baseline gearing investment. So before we get started into this investment, all you need to do is smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, make sure you join the Discord. And also, I'll be posting the part two of Sorbus 2 guide in Floor 2 Red Veil Grove. And with that all out of the way, let's get on today's investment, shall we? So, what is my baseline investment here? My baseline investment is basically helping players who just started Sorbus 2 to now becoming a mid game player. Basically, starting off from levels 1 all the way to 43 in three different shops, Novice, Intermediate, and Advanced. So as for beginners who have started Sword Burst 2, is I recommend you go into the Novice shop once you start leveling up. So what are some current ones you can try and get here is through the Novice shop selling merchant here. Basically what they got here in this weapon shop is different types of blades with different levels basically different for your level investments. If you're ever choosing a different weapon, basically choose whichever you choose to be. Either a longsword user, rapier, katana, or greatsword. Depending on your level and which type of blades you use, make sure you always check on your stats. Basically a weapon's damage or how much defense you have. And up here is the armor merchant shop. Basically what they got here is just different armors. You only have your standard novice, two way light fields, wrap chain mail, and of course, different armors with different defensive stats. But if you have common crystals, each different variety has different scenarios when you upgrade them, different to what you have at your current state. So now we move on into the next one is the intermediate shop. Intermediate shop is only available for levels 15, 18, 21, and there's basically one armor that's for level 20. What you do here by this merchant here, you only got different weapons that only depends on your level you currently are. There's only levels 15, 18, 21, and only an armor that's for level 20. Depending on what you choose to be, and you make sure you buy yourself some armor, because floor two is gonna be different from what you've seen during the first guide in floor one. At the woodlands floor so that's basically what i have to say about this one and now here we are in the last one here in arcadia the advanced shop advanced shop is only available for levels 36 to 43 depending on what you choose there's only two armors you only got as a vigilante's armor for level 36 and knight's plate mail armor for level 43 Different weapons depending on your stats, basically on the weapon's damage or armor's defense, meaning you have a better chance of ascending yourself to more suitable gear. And that's more investment in it than others than you think. So what I've seen here in Floor 2 is that some of the low level players usually go and aim for the secondary mini boss, the Grove Protector. I wouldn't recommend it. If you're already low level, you shouldn't be able to do that. Basically, if your damage is so low, you couldn't be able to do so much damage. Even with a small group or a large group, still doesn't work. Even with the high level player, they still get more damage than the low level players do. So what I suggest you either go for is the first mini boss, the Pearl Guardian, or just start grinding these Pearl Keepers. They seem more a bit easier in my perspective, so and you might have a better chance of getting some better items here. Now what I would suffice here in 4-3 Avalanche Expanse 
is either getting yourself to level 25 for the Snogger weapon drops Ethereal Edge, or either going for level 28 is the armor from the Angry Snowman White Priest Robe, or just keep on going to level 29 for the Silverlight Greatsword they also drop from the Snowman. But if you're also going for the other drops, you might suffice going for the Crystal Espada drop from these ice walls. Or if you are strong enough to take on a mini boss such as the Alpha one, the Alpha Ice Wall, you might have a chance of getting the Frostbite or the Cerberus. It's either those choices or keep on using the same gear you got currently from the previous floor you have, but don't use any of the ones from the lower floor. So for my last one suffice, well my last advice here is to grind with a group or in a raid with some people or with some friends you already know that you can join in Zorbers too. Because floors 3 and 4 and higher are going to be more mid game to end game. So it's basically better to join in with a group. Joining with groups have a better chance of you doing multi attacks. To activate burst mode when you start attacking the mobs. And when doing so, you will have a better chance of gaining some drops, EXP, or some Vel. Vel is very useful when you're buying yourself some new gear when you're starting as a beginner. But when you stop using Vel, it's not going to be useful anymore because new stuff are going to be coming soon or later. But we will see for that moment until the end. And so that is the whole baseline investment. If you like this guys, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. And also make sure to join in the discord. And what I've seen is that 88.7 of you guys watch my videos haven't subscribed. No seriously, you got to subscribe. You do not want to miss more of my guides. Because they will be helpful in the future. So that's basically all I need to say. This is SK signing out. And I'll see you guys for part 2. Peace.